So let's now talk about a story that has Kenyans talking, and that is the renewed effort by the Kenya Revenue Authority to collect tax from returning passengers. The taxman says that all imported goods, whether new or used, will be subjected to taxation. The Kenya Revenue Authority will tax passengers arriving in the country with goods worth more than 500 US dollars or an equivalent of 75,000 shillings. The renewed push for the guidelines has received a backlash from Kenyans, including the National Assembly Committee on Defense, Intelligence and Foreign Relations, who say the announcement could not have come at a worse time. Here's Lillian Mully with more. The Kenya Revenue Authority is under fire over a new push to collect taxes from travelers' personal and household items. The taxman came under intense online scrutiny after issuing a directive seeking to tax travelers or passengers arriving into the country from international destinations to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport with items worth $500 and above, which is equivalent to $75,000. Kenya shillings. Reactions varied from alleged poor handling of arrivals at the JKIA, long queues and exploitation. This after KRA made the announcement on social media platform X. I've seen something which is coming out as if we are taxing everything that you are coming with. When you have traveled out of country, when you are coming back, you will always come with the, the clothes, the bags that you went with. But where you purchase goods of a uh, value of 500 which are more than one then you are required to declare the rest for purposes of tax. The Kenya Revenue Authority's passenger guidelines include all passengers on first arrival who intend to change their residencies to Kenya. This includes missionaries, military personnel or aid agencies who take up appointments in Kenya. It also includes diplomats and foreign students as well as returning residents. The goods that have been checked into the airline will be scanned at the airside. And in most cases, the traveler will not even know that the scanning has happened. So when you arrive, we'll only pick out the baggage that has been marked for further verification. Taxable items exceeding 500 US dollars include clothes, personal and household effects, and phones, among others. Duty shall not be levied on the goods imported, including spirits, wines, water, and perfumes not exceeding one liter. People who smoke, they are allowed to carry 250 gram, uh, milligrams of tobacco, perfume of uh, one um, um, a liter, less than a liter, and then alcohol, they also allow a level of what you can carry with you. There has been widespread concern over KRA customs handling of passengers arriving into the country. We have done a lot of capacity building programs. We also engage our, our, our officers at the airport, which we are organized into shifts. So when a shift is on duty, we take them through a process as to how we expect or KRA expects them to conduct themselves and uh, this we hold we hold to them the national assembly defense intelligence and foreign relations committee has called out KRA for allegedly harassing and intimidating passengers arriving at jkia there is also need to clarify which goods are affected and ensure personal effects and electronics are left out the committee asserted that it was wrong timing for the KRA passenger guidelines we agree the laws around the world impose limitations on the amount of good, but that should not be an excuse to threaten passengers or other travelers or infringe on privacy of tour. The committee says they want the agency to handle tourists professionally and to allow travelers to declare their luggage and, where necessary, pay duty before landing. Guys, mimi naenda mata nikiwa uchi hivi. Na unaona kila kitu na jebebea tu hapo. Unatuma siri. Siri, siri, siri ni kutuma kila kitu home kwa, na kwambia nitatuma mpaka simu. Kwa sababu if you tell me kitu yote ambayo ina, inaenda more than 75,000 iPhone ni pesa ngapi? iPhone already ni almost 150k. 150k ni kona iPhone mbili. Sasa unataka nilipe tena tax ingine ya 90,000 juu ni eh zama siri tuma tuma kila kitu. Enda tu hiyo 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 JKIA na masuruwa rezu zako kwa baga hapo. 
na ujinga ujinga tu zako hapo hata wanatafuta pale pa kuwekea make yao wanakosa na mimi naye kama uko home unanituma kitu ukinituma perfume utabidi umekuja tu hapo tutalipa hiyo tax ukinituma anything yeye utanituma mimi nakwambia hata chocolate ukinituma nitakwambia tu kujia tu hapo tutalipa hiyo tax siwezi kunulia ya chocolate na perfume for free alafu kisha hata nikuje nikulipie tax haiwezi haita make hey! chini keza kayo nzakayo umetumaliza takayo tieko wa hey! hey! sasa tusiwai rudi home na kitu tunafika tu airport kwa tu uchi hivi Ah ndavuta hapa pale pakugusa wanakosa. Eh fika hapo na box na pati pati. Hivi kila kitu tuma home. Nakwambia paka simu tuma home na cargo. Zinafikanga huko 3 days before ufike. Hiyo hapo tunaiangalianga tu hata mtu wa taxi hapo nje ambaye nitakulipa nikifika kwa nyumba. Sababu eh hey, hii imekuwa three match. Sasa tunaogopa hata kwenda home sasa. Tujue hao watu watatushika watufunge kama hatuna pesa. Na tax mall ni ngumu na inauma inauma itabidi tutazoea inauma inauma eh hey! Kenya anyway tutaduni nini kwetu lazima tuende hata wakita kututax sisi wenyewe hata umekaa huko 10 years umekuwa mrefu 10 inches sasa itabidi hii 10 inches umekuwa mrefu utabidi ulipie ulienda huko nje ukiwa na nywele nyeusi umerudi hapa na umvi hii umvi itabidi ulipie tax pia it's okay Umeenda huko ukiwa na nywele ilikuwa na shuka rasta umerudi na kipara itabidi ulipia eh jamani ni nini tena wanangojea ku tax juu everything ailishikiki mta kitu ambao huko nje na buy 10 dirham 10 real nikienda mtaani ni, ni 50 anyway what to do ndio kwetu huko hizo ndo tumambo hao ndo watu tulichagua tabidi tupambane na hali what to do Inauma lakini inauma inauma si uongo